Captioning your videos makes them more useful and accessible to all students, and is particularly helpful if there's a lot of new or discipline-specific vocabulary used in your videos. When you upload a video to YouTube, it is automatically captioned, but often the automatic captions miss a word, misspell a word, or fail to add a lot of the punctuation. Editing the captions for spelling and punctuation makes the captions actually useful and is well worth your time for the benefit of all of your students. Unless you've edited the automatic captions, you can't truly consider your video on YouTube captioned. This video will demonstrate how to find and edit the captions on videos that you have uploaded to YouTube. First, sign into your YouTube account. Then click on your profile in the upper right corner and select YouTube Studio. Once you're in the YouTube Studio, select Subtitles. Now you can see a list of all of the videos that you've uploaded with an access point to any subtitles that exist under the Languages column. Navigate to a video that you'd like to edit the captions for and click the drop down arrow under Languages. Under the Subtitles column over on the right, you'll see what subtitles files exist for that video. If you have not done any editing on captions, the only, ones, the only subtitle file that will exist will be the automatic. To start editing the captions, click on the options arrow and select Edit on Classic Studio. This will now move you into an editor where you can watch your video and you can see all of the automatic captions. Click on Edit to activate the editing mode of the captions in the video. At this point, you can play and pause the video to hear what you've said, and you can also see each of the captions in their different time segments. What I can do is go through and add punctuation, capitalization. For example, I can capitalize Blackboard. Add some punctuation, whatever you need. When you play the video and start typing, it automatically pauses the video to help you. When you're done making your edits, you can say publish edits. And you can return to your YouTube studio if you'd like to caption any other videos. Notice now when I go to my subtitles area of the YouTube studio, this is the video I was editing. Under languages, there are now two files. One is automatic, but now I have the published one that I'm working on. I didn't finish all the edits in one sitting, so I can go back to this published version and continue to edit it by clicking on Edit in Classic Studio. I can click on edit again. It's going to say, just so you know, it's going to overwrite any um, old versions, which is fine. And then I can make additional edits, click publish edits, and it's going to say you want your newest version to be the one that's there. You can say, okay, publish, and continue to work on editing your subtitles. I hope that you explore editing the captions on your videos and make a goal to edit the captions on all instructional videos that you make for the benefit of all learners. Thanks for watching.